Today I thought I'd make a whispering and soft-spoken video uh, just to help you unwind and relax. So just get those headphones on and sit back. Sponsored video by Amino App, and basically, what Amino is is a community, well, very many communities on one app, and there is an ASMR community that just started, and I'm hoping to see it grow. Um, I was looking for a platform where I could run some polls and um, share with you some of uh, new ASM artists that I feel like don't have a lot of subscribers yet. And I feel like the Amino ASMR app is going to be a good place for that. Um, you can go ahead and download it. It's completely free um, for iOS or Android. Um, and you can find me there, Ricky Seven Whispers. You can follow me and see all the stuff that I want to post. But I think it's going to be a good place for me to share a lot of uh, artists that I watch that are not that well known. Um, there are also several other uh, communities, such as the Pokemon community, which I joined too. <laughs> And uh, a Marvel community. It's just, there's a community for everything pretty much. Um, so all you have to do is download the Amino Master app and search for the community that you'd like to join. And hopefully, ASMR is one of them. And find me. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks to the Amino app for sponsoring this video. I'll leave all the links down in the description so you can go ahead and download it for yourself and try it out, okay? So today I figured that it would be nice to make a, a longish video just whispering back and forth because I know a lot of you just like it when I whisper from ear to ear or when I talk like this, soft-spoken. Um, so I'm just going to try to make a really long, ramble, whispering type video to help you relax. I'll be answering some questions that I got in on some videos and just talking pretty much, helping you go to sleep. could answer some questions that I've gotten on some videos. Um, first question, I don't really have the names to it, but I did, did write them down on my phone, so I'll be reading off of that. But if you if you ask this, I don't say your name, I'm sorry, I didn't write all the names down. Um, first question is, why aren't you answering all the comments like you used to? I, I saw that a lot of you asked this, um, and the truth is, not that I get too busy, because I do, I've, I've been very busy, but the truth is that lately, a lot of the comments, not a lot, but I, quite a few have been a little negative, and usually I'm really well at brushing negativity off, but I'm not best mental state right now to be doing that and just reading a lot of uh, negative comments does sort of get me down a little um so for now i try to not read as many comments as possible that way 
that's why I don't answer a lot of them. Um, but I feel like every time I, I try to get back into it, it does get a little hard nowadays because it, there are a lot of comments, <laughs> like a lot, and I really do try when I used to. Um, by the end of it, I'm really exhausted. Uh, and just right now, I'm not in a good mental place to be reading that much negativity all at once. So I try to just, you know, give myself a breather because I don't want to stop making videos. And I feel like if I keep seeing stuff like that, that I'll want to stop for a while and I don't want that to happen. So i rather just make videos and sort of keep the comments, you know, to a minimum. Um, but thank you guys for asking that question. It's a very valid question. And I'm very sorry that I haven't been able to answer everybody. Um, but I did read a lot of the comments to make this video because I'm going to be answering a lot of your questions. Um, so yeah. again, I've answered it before, um, on my personal channel with a coming out video, and I've answered it here, I think in my last Q&A, um, I'm not gay, I'm not straight, I'm not bi, I don't really like labels, so I, I don't care to put one on myself, but I feel like if you must, must label me on my sexuality, I feel like uh, the closest thing would be pansexual because I don't care <laughs> if I like you, I like you, and that's that. Um, but it doesn't really matter to me. I don't care for the labels. If you want to label yourself, that's fine. You do you, I'll do me. Um, but yeah, hopefully that answers some of your questions. Is Stephanie my sister? Uh, and they're referring to Stephanie Seven Whispers. Yes, she is my sister. I thought, I thought that was very clear, but I guess a lot of people don't haven't watched all of my videos. Um, yes, yeah, Stephanie is my sister. I realize that we look a lot alike, <laughs> and that we have the same mannerisms and way of speaking yeah we do a lot of people think that we're twins I guess um, we do look like twins sometimes um, yeah she is my sister we are pretty close we do a lot of things together uh, we're planning on moving to LA together Los Angeles soon we're about an hour away right now. But we plan on moving to Hollywood and party it up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't party. <laughs> Actually, Stephanie parties more than I do. She would be, I feel like she's the wild one when, as far as like fun goes like she definitely hangs out with friends and goes out to you know dance and stuff a lot more than I would um I would say she's the um, uh, she's the party crazy type and I'm just the just the crazy type <laughs> just a little not there yet but I'm sure you've noticed Oh, but yeah, Stephanie. 
Stephanie is my sister. And if you haven't subscribed to her, you should go check her out. I'll leave her link right here for you. I feel like she's going to pass me up in subscribers very, very soon. And girls, girl ASMR artists always get a lot more subscribers than the guys do. But she's doing a good job. And I'm going to be very proud when she passes me up. She's going to do it very soon, though. It's very obvious. Um, another question that I've gotten is how do I get my teeth so white? Um, a lot. A lot of it is the lighting that I have right here. Um, reflects off my teeth and make them it makes them look a lot whiter than they really are. I mean they're pretty white but the light just makes them look a lot whiter. Um but what I use are uh crest whites whitening strips and I've talked about this in my personal channel. Um I'm thinking that I might be giving some away on my next giveaway. So if you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comments if you like some whitening strips. Because I know that um, that might be a little expensive for some people, like they can't afford them. Um, so I wouldn't mind giving away a packet to help while one of you have uh, whiter teeth. Because I know it give, definitely gives you a lot more confidence. Like my teeth weren't this white. Um, and then when I started using them and they started getting wider, I felt better about myself. So hopefully, um, one of you could feel that way. Also, 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 um, another question I have is why I don't collab. With any other ASMR artist, or why I haven't collabed with anybody else. Um, the truth is, I get, I make my videos ahead of time, so I'm never, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm never, but I'm almost never in a position to be able to collab and have a video out for like next week with somebody else because. And they'd have to wait like a month to be able to post it at the same time that I would post it and I just feel like that wouldn't be fair to them so I try not to um and I'll talk about collaborations too much but I do want to collaborate I just feel like I need to get in the right mindset to I don't know and then sometimes I feel like maybe I'm not good enough to collaborate with some people um because obviously I don't want to, you know, go up to somebody who has like, like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and be like, hey, you want to collab? Because uh, I know that I don't have that much to offer to somebody like that. Um, and then sometimes I feel like maybe I'm not, I won't do my best job and I, I let somebody down. I don't know, it's just a, like a lot, it's a lot of internal stuff. I just feel like maybe I might be very finicky about what type of collaboration I make. It's just a lot of, a lot of me stuff. 
but one day, one day I'll get, I'll get really into, like, collaborating, and I, I want to collaborate with more people, or I want to collaborate with people, even my sister, I haven't, <laughs> a lot of people ask why I haven't collab with, um, Stephanie, and that's the reason why, we have thought of a couple of, um, role plays that would be very fun to do, um, they sort of have the sibling theme so we'll see how that goes but definitely we don't know if we're gonna make it for YouTube or if we're gonna uh, put the video up on the escape which by the way is my personal attention website where you become a member and get access to my sister's on it too so if you'd like to check it out I'll go ahead and leave the link down there so you can become a member if you'd like to of course um but yeah a lot of people have asked me about uh the escape and why I don't post the videos that I post there on here um there uh the videos on there are exclusive because they are, um, I guess on a different platform, and since they are pretty much paid for, since there is a membership fee, um, of uh, $6.99 a month, $6.99, so $7 a month, um, I, it wouldn't be fair if I posted those videos on, on here, where people can watch them for free, um, I feel like I post videos there and I post videos here and I don't think it should matter yeah, to people if I post a video somewhere where they don't watch it. It's usually people who don't have a membership and who still want to watch the videos. Um, I'm still posting here on YouTube so I feel like I could have a different place where I could post uh, different types of videos and exclusive videos and still earn some money um, off of it because it does uh, it does help me out a lot um, I don't want to be like oh it's all about the money it's also about the creativity I like expanding and I like I've always wanted a, a website for what I do and I'm definitely going to be expanding the escape um, with different sections um, I did with my sister. I also want to have a sort of uh, like diary of sorts, maybe a blog um, where I'm more dedicated to it and stuff like that. And maybe have a shop in the future where I can sell t-shirts or something, I don't know. Just like a lot of stuff like that. I've always wanted a, a site like that. I'm really happy that I'm actually doing it now. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave the link to the escape if you'd like to watch any of it. Another thing I've messed about is why I make boyfriend role plays um for ASMR and I've said this before and I'll say this again I enjoy the closeness and that romantic flirty feeling you get when watching one of those types of role plays I, I love it I don't know why um it's just that closeness it's it's fun and it's also very tingly and I, I really enjoy it and I feel like there isn't enough of that and obviously when making videos you have to make the type of videos that you want to watch and those are the type of videos that I would love to watch those are my favorite type of videos boyfriend and kissing sounds and mouth sounds are all girl 
yourself in real plays. Just like that closeness you can get um, to a video. So that's why I make them. I make them because I know that there are more people out there who enjoy ASMR and who also like that flirty, uh, almost sensual feeling. And that's why I make them. I know that some people think that I'm giving ASMR a bad name or I'm tainting the ASMR community. Uh, but those people are just ignorant because there's more than your way of watching a video. There's more than just that traditional ASMR. I'm going to just tap, you know. That's fine for people who enjoy that. But there are people who enjoy maybe creepier role plays. And there are people who enjoy those role plays where you just, you know, you're a doctor and you're getting a patient to check up and stuff. Some people like the traditional stuff. Some people like the creepier stuff. Some people like the more sensual boyfriend type stuff. And it's okay. Everyone has different preferences. And you shouldn't. I also think that if the ASMR community was a little bit more open to that part of ASMR, that maybe the not that stigma that ASMR is a sexual thing, because it really isn't. Um, and the videos that I make, I feel like they're not even sexual. For my taste, at least, they're very tame. Um, because, like, I watch porn. <laughs> I know. I know how crazy things can get. I feel like my videos are not anywhere near as pornographic as some people make them out to be. If anything, I feel like they're very sensual and flirty. You know? I like making people feel good about themselves. Another question that I've gotten is how I deal with um, depression and anxiety. Um, fortunately, I haven't suffered um, depression or anxiety as much as I feel like some people have. Like I do get my moments where I feel depressed or very anxious. For the most part, it's very tame. It's never intense. Um, but what I do when I feel that way is I try to shut down because the more I focus on trying to get out of that rut, the more I stay there. And sometimes you need to put your brain on pause or just, you know, reset. What I do is, um, it's kind of silly, I sort of don't do anything, I try to make my, you know, head numb and I watch Netflix and just watch the show and try to not think about anything else and that usually does a good job of sort of um, directing my focus somewhere else. That is not the thing that's making me anxious or depressed. And from there, I'm able to work slowly to becoming a little bit better. Um, I start by, folk after I've, you know, numbed myself and, like, focused elsewhere, I tell myself, 
um, to focus on things that make me happy. Um, when I little things, sometimes it'll be um, like the nice comments that I get really help me out. Or sometimes it'll be uh, taking photographs of things or myself. <laughs> a, lot of you, a lot of you know, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I like to take pictures. I'm not afraid to say that though. And a lot of people try to say, oh, you, you try too hard. Yeah, sometimes I enjoy taking a picture. Um, yeah, I just try to focus on things that make me happy. Um, sometimes it's as simple as eating carbs because I try to limit, limit the carbs that I eat. And when I just, you know, decide to focus on just like eating carbs like I'll sit down and eat a bowl of cereal that makes me happy <laughs> it's just the, the silly things like that like small things that make you happy will always you know cheer you up <laughs> so that's what I do to try to pull myself out of a rut if I'm not if I'm in it um and after that I try to do uh work I guess keep myself busy but with things that I enjoy which would be like making a video or um going somewhere that I enjoy like going to Disneyland or going to LA things like that that's how I keep myself busy doing things that I actually want to do and that usually is the thing that really pulls me out of that uh depression or that anxiety that I was feeling um made a lot of some of my processes um focus on nothing then focus on little things that make you happy and then busy happy work or busy happy activities so that's that's my process I don't know if it works for everyone um, but it works for me, and you're welcome to try it out. Tell me how it goes. Um, my battery is flashing. I feel I keep looking over here. It's because I'm trying to make sure that I'm still recording. Battery is flashing, so it should be running out soon. I'll try to uh, wrap up a couple more questions. Um, okay, let's see. so focused on um, my goals right now which is moving to LA trying to establish myself as an actor um, doing this YouTube thing that I don't think I have time to raise a family I honestly don't really even have time for a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend right now so I, I can <laughs> I don't think I would be giving it my my all to either my goals or a relationship or a family if I was to focus on um, both of them at the same time. And so right now I'd like to focus on this, doing what I want to do, establishing myself, and then maybe in the future I'll look into starting a family, but for the time being I don't think I don't think kids are in the cards for me. Um, also because I, I'm probably not very patient with kids. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, I enjoy spending time with my uh, cousins who are like baby cousins and toddlers. But I get to a point where I don't know <laughs> how to control them or I don't know how to talk to them. So, I don't know. I, 
it's a thing, I guess it's a learning process. But for the time being, I don't think I have it in me to be a father just yet. Um, another question that I've gotten is also pertains to my sexuality and it's people who who actually watch my videos and ask me what is a pansexual and what's the difference between being pansexual and being bisexual um pansexual is when you don't care what gender they are um and bisexual is when you like female or males so pansexual could be like anything in between or anything outside the gender spectrum and I don't know too much about and I don't know too much about um the gender spectrum and all the genders that there are but I know that there are people who don't identify just strictly as male or strictly as female so uh, but I wouldn't be closed off to those people um like I'm trying to keep this as PG as possible but say there is a a male with a, a vagina okay I don't think that would stop me from maybe getting to know them or liking them romantically or sexually or if it was a female with a penis oh god I can't believe I'm <laughs> going into detail um just for the sake of those who actually want to understand it better I mean, if it was a female with a penis, I wouldn't be opposed to getting to know them um, romantically, sexually, uh, or just flirting. I, my camera just uh, turned off, so I had to put it on a new battery. It sort of lost my train of thought. Uh, but to just like wrap up what I was saying, I feel like people are different and uh, physically and I feel like it wouldn't matter to me what they had in between their legs or what they didn't have between their legs. Um, I'm usually attracted to a face. And if I'm attracted to that face, then anything can happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess that's as simple as I can put it. I'll go ahead and answer one more question and then I'll wrap this video up. I feel like it's gone on for long enough and a lot of you are probably sleeping by now. Okay. Last question and let's go look for it. to a simple one and it was what is your favorite social media outlet right now um hmm. I want to say right off the bat Instagram just because I feel like it's quick it's like, you know, take a picture, you post it. It's really quick, it's simple. And I, I know I enjoy having my Instagram. But I also really enjoy Snapchat. Sometimes I feel like there's a lot of, um, like, like little snippets of people's lives. Like if you watch somebody's story or I post mine, um, you can watch little parts of somebody's life and it, it can be fun I enjoy that it's like a little glimpse um, into someone's day but I also really like Twitter because I get to interact with um, some of you and it's a little bit more I guess I would say personal than it is here because on YouTube it's very one-sided it's just me speaking but on on Twitter 
I really get a sense of you guys sometimes um, when you guys reply to me or you send me some pictures and stuff like that or, or, or some gifs or gifs however you say it um, it really gives me a sense of uh, you guys as individuals so I really like Twitter for that um, but I don't know, I don't know if I had to choose between Instagram Snapchat or Twitter I won't say if I won't say YouTube because I feel like that's a cop out since it's what I use most out of all of them. Um, I want to say that maybe, oh, I guess Snapchat, I can interact with you guys as well, but it's not as personal in that Snapchat. I feel like Twitter might be the best um, social media outlet right now for me. Just because I get to interact with you guys a lot more than I would in other, on other um, platforms. And Twitter, um, I'll go ahead and uh, leave a link to all these um, social media outlets. So you can go and uh, follow me there. If you have a Twitter or Snapchat or Instagram, um, I will be posting a giveaway soon. So um, if you're following me there, you'd be able to, you know, keep track of what's going on. Um, so yeah, anything for that self promo, that shameless plugin. <laughs> um, also, if you keep your Instagram um, public, like if it's not private and you follow me, sometimes I, I like stalking you guys. <laughs> um, sometimes I'll go and look at your pictures and stuff. And that's always fun. I like, I feel like a creep. Like, you don't know that I'm on your profile. I'm just looking at your pictures. Like, who is this person? Um, so yeah, I do that on Instagram a lot. Uh, I don't really get to stalk that much on Twitter, I guess, or Snapchat. But yeah, Instagram definitely is my my stalking you guys sort of place. Sometimes you guys have um, private profiles, so I can't really see them. But uh, when you're uh, public, I do take a peek every now and then. So don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, yeah. I also really like Snapchat because it's, um, it's like if I post something like a question on my story and you guys watch and you can send me a reply uh, very quickly. Um, I like that about Snapchat. It's very quick uh, when it comes to uh, questions and interactions. Um, my stomach is growling like crazy. I haven't had lunch yet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day on the video. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this video and you're still awake, please don't forget to leave me a like as it really, really helps me out. Um, if you guys enjoy these type of videos, I can uh, make more like answering your questions. Uh, just let me know. Leave your questions down.
some artists that I want to recommend. 